Hi everybody, this video is about the ladder of codependency. So uh, this material comes from the Jack Dodd material. And so he has a ladder and on that ladder has several rungs, but like in the middle of the ladder is this cloud and everybody's trying to get above the clouds into their EST, which is um, their best above the clouds. So when we enter into our codependency, that is when we have um, stopped being ourselves, human beings, and we've started back onto the ladder of doing. The problem with the ladder is that only one person can be on the ladder at a time. And so when we're on this ladder, it's a ladder of judgment as I go up because I'm trying to build self-esteem. And, and I'm thinking that is if I can just get above the clouds, then I'll be the richest, fastest, strongest, smartest, funniest, prettiest, etc. And the moment that I enter onto it is because I have started to ask myself, how am I doing? That's the comparison to other people. And when we are on the ladder, we have the following plan, purpose, and passion. It is gonna be our plan using our intellect, using our morality, and then using our willpower. These are the tools of the human who is not stepping into healthy shame, but rather being driven by the enemy that has stolen and killed and destroyed and taken away the ground of my heart. So all of that is my attempt at getting my best life, the bigger, better, faster, more, but it's really self-esteem and not self-worth. Worth. The purpose of that is that I will get it done, but I'm actually feeding the old man and it's my will that I'm getting done. The passion that I use is just the stimulation for life. What is it that I can find outside of me that can give me relief on the inside of me? So we are all living there most of the time. And the only way to get off of the ladder is to take the slide off or and to do that is to feel your feelings, to tell the truth, and to give it to God, to let go of the results. And that's how we can get off by we start asking, what am I feeling? What do I need? And then for those, um, if we have trusted people in our lives that we can receive feedback from, because we need to know about our blind spots but we won't be asking anybody that we don't trust. And then lastly is this motivation. What am I doing this for? Why am I even doing this? And that's gonna be between you and God. I actually have another ladder that I believe is relevant. And on the first two rungs, um, that's basic commerce. The first rung is receiving for the sake of receiving. That is just, I like your sweater, you like my money, and I give you my money and you give me a sweater and that's an exchange. You received and I received. The next rung above that is giving for the sake of receiving. And that happens when I end up giving and doing something, but then find myself being hurt afterwards because I didn't get a thank you or an attaboy. Well, I was actually motivated by that receiving. Otherwise, I wouldn't be hurt. And so most of life happens on this lower rung. And the goal is to get above that into the spiritual realm where it's giving for the sake of giving is this next one. And that's when I know of that family who doesn't have any money and I anonymously will slip money into their mailbox, but they don't know who it's from. I'm not seeking credit. 
where the left hand doesn't know what the right hand is doing. And then the highest rung is going to be giving for the sake of the giver. And that is just a complete and total dependence on the Lord that he and he alone will supply and meet all of my needs. Well, that is a growing process as we climb off of the ladder of codependency and start climbing up to the spiritual reasons for giving. Now notice down here at the bottom when, when it is, when we get off by feeling our feelings, telling the truth and letting go of the results and giving it to God, then the passion and plan and purpose flip. My passion is now me stepping into the, the 12 steps where I've admitted step one that I'm powerless, I can't do this on my own and I surrender to a greater higher power. And I need to do my part every day, which means that do I truly want to live today? And am I willing to pay the price of that full living? The plan for following through with that is going to be under his power and not my will anymore, but thy will be done in a constant chronic um, feeding of the spiritual desires to which God made me with in the new man. And the purpose of where I really will be fulfilled in life, surrendering to something greater than myself, I will end up loving fully, living deeply. I said that wrong. Live fully, love deeply, and leading well. So that is the ladder of codependency. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a blessed day.